Hey, Matt the Momo Hunter with McGee Farms. And going to be expanding our housing a little bit for our goats and sheep. Uh, originally, the house that we have was nice, but that's when we had two goats and one lamb. And we've kind of expanded a little bit. There's still enough room in there, but it's kind of tight quarters. And we're going to rebuild it. But as you can see, there's kind of snow on the ground. We're in the middle of winter. So really not a good time uh, to be building it now. So originally I had the idea of getting these IBC containers and the area that when we have babies, we kind of put them in. I was going to convert these to where in the stalls, we've got a couple of these where they have their own kind of separate little house and uh, you know wouldn't be too drafty. You can even kind of rig a little light or heat lamp in there to give a little heat if it's a really cold night. But I picked these up. One thing you got to watch when you look at them is what was in there. There's a place right by me that I can pick them up, but they've got all kinds of farm chemicals that I really wouldn't want to have the animals in. Uh, even washing them out, it's still going to kind of seep into that plastic. Uh, these were a little more expensive. I mean, not too bad. These cost me $20 a piece. And these had, they set a soap-based product. So I don't know if it's like laundry detergent, uh, shampoo. I haven't looked up exactly what it is yet. I'm going to kind of look it up a little bit, but something that's pretty simple to wash out. So I've got two of these. We're going to go ahead and get the saws all out, uh, get some tools out, and I'll show you how we're going to modify them. And first off, I'm going to leave them outside where the regular housing is so they've got some extra housing I, I don't have any babies right now so i don't need them in the little nursery area but i'll have them to where i can like just easily move them in there when we have a baby and give them a little extra so let's get going and uh, see what the process is okay so here's what we got with the toad and originally i was wanting to go with the more narrower end as far as making the door but as far as making the door, I think it's going to, the wider end is going to make just a little more sense. It's going to make, uh, keep the cage where it's uh, strong enough for what I need. But uh, it's just the, uh, the crossbars are so narrow. I've got to, I, I want to get more than what I can get on the end and still make it usable. So I think I'm going to go from this end and get the saws all out and we're going to, Basically, just uh, cut the metal and then go in and cut the door. Okay, so cutting really just two across, two of these should be enough for them to get in and out. When you cut and you got your saws off, you want to go at an angle. That way, you're not really cutting the plastic. Not that it matters because you're eventually going to cut the plastic anyway to make the door, but. Uh, starting at an angle, and I'm going to take a couple of these out and then just make sure I don't have any sharp edges, and then I'm going to start cutting the plastic. Okay, so I got the metal cut out. And like I said, I kind of went at an angle for most of these so there's no sharp edges for the animals to hit. I am going to kind of hit them with an angle grinder just a bit to be safe. The bottom part, that was kind of hard. I'm really going to have to come and probably trim that up. Uh, might even end up uh, putting a little bit of some liquidized rubber or something on there after I grind it down just to make sure there's no sharp edges. But next I'm going to cut out the door. Now ideally you bring a drill out and uh, start your pilot hole for cutting the plastic. I actually uh, have the drills in the house for something I was doing the other day and uh, instead of running up there, I can do it just as easy. This stuff is light enough with a uh, uh, pocket knife. Always carry a pocket knife. You never know when uh, you're going to need to cut some cake or somebody you don't like. So, so get it in there. I've already kind of started the cut. Just get enough of, a, enough of a cut that after that I can get in there with the Sawzall and uh, finish it up. Okay, so we've got everything finished right now. I got everything cleaned out. It's hooked onto the forks on the front bucket of my tractor. 
and I think I'm going to hold off. I'm not going to put it in tonight just because it is still kind of damp on the inside and I want to give it a little time to kind of drain and dry out. Uh, just basically, uh, you know, have it, have it good and dry. If I put it in there now, it's probably, you know, I'd be afraid it might mold the straw or, uh, you know, just kind of be damp. But, uh, but I did two across as far as cutting the cage and uh, I did, uh, I cut two off going up as well and it gives them plenty of room to kind of get in and out i'm probably going to come back before i put it in too and just kind of hit the uh, edge of the plastic a little bit just smooth it out so there's no rough edges same thing with all the metal that i cut uh put my hand on there and it wasn't bad but you know goats have some pretty thin skin so you know i don't want them to end up getting cut or getting hurt but it should work out you know what we've got over here this was kind of originally it was a little house that i had put together with pallets and some barn siding that i had left over from other projects and the sun comes up to where it shines in where i've got these skylights and it warms it up pretty good and it it worked when we just had a couple of goats now we've got two big goats six small goats and two lambs and it's getting a little little tight i'm going to completely redo this house come springtime but since we're in the middle of winter now i'm not even going to mess with trying to do it now also probably make this pen just a little bit bigger for them uh probably i'm thinking maybe move the house actually on the outside of the pen and just have it to where they can walk in the house from the pen and like the door of the house, just just going into the pen to where you can only access it from inside the pen. But you know, make it a, make it a good bit bigger. Hey girls, they came up to see what I was doing. So, but the idea with this for now is uh, right where I've got that metal on the side. I'm gonna butt it up right there with the door facing where I'm standing right now. And that should give them a good wind block. It should help keep them warm if we get another cold snap. And uh, just, just give it a little, little extra space. So it's Matt the Momo Hunter with McGee Farms. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to our page. Maybe uh, give us a like, some comments. It's all appreciated. Until next time.